Okay, good morning and welcome to Just Daf and Mesechas Ksubos, Davav number six. We have a great share for you today. Today we will be finalizing our discussion about whether you let a Bia Rishona on Shabbos. The first Bia after you get married is to do it on Shabbos on Friday night. Um, a lot of the Minog in Europe was to get married on Friday because, you know, on Arab Shabbos, before Shabbos, and they have the meal on Friday night. Because they only had one fleshing meal a week. They wanted to save the flay of the chicken, you know, the chicken wings for Friday night. You know, everyone thinks Dougie's was, uh, you know, revolutionary. But, you know, go back to, go back to Poland and Ukraine in the early 1900s. I mean, they had, they had the best chicken wings ever. They had those Friday night chicken wings. They served the weddings. I'm telling you, the barbecue sauce. I'm sure they had the crayons also. You can color on the, on the tablecloth. Obviously, you'd have to color before Shabbos. You can't color on Shabbos. But... It was just amazing. I mean, I read stories about it. I, I'm a class, you know, I'm like a bookworm also, you know. Besides giving shiurim, you know, I'm up half the night uh, reading novels, uh, John Grisham and, uh, you know, whatever, the other guy, Stephen King. I like that. Uh, I like Stephen King. I like John Grisham. Um, you know, those types of people. And, and I also like to read the historical books about, you know, what went on circa 1920. 19- Fifteen in in, uh, in Ukraine and Poland. Nine fifteen would actually be World War One, but I'm joking. I don't read about stuff. <laughs> I am the opposite of a book. I don't read any books. The only re- publication that I do read is Mishpacha magazine on Shabbos because I can't use my phone to watch videos or anything else. So I only have one form of entertainment on Shabbos, and I buy Mishpacha magazine. I have a subscription to Mishpacha magazine. Some weeks are better than others. Some weeks they have articles, a lot of articles that are interesting. Most of the time I don't have time to read it. I have four young kids, uh, literally young kids, four and under, four kids. The oldest is four. So I barely have any time, even at the meals, to, to breathe on Shabbos. But I do have time to keep it in my bathroom. It's okay to keep Mishpacha magazine in your bathroom. I don't know, but uh, I have my bathroom. And I read Mishpacha magazine. Uh, is it interesting? Some of the, sometimes, some weeks there's nothing interesting to read. Um, some weeks they have a lot of good articles. Um, I like Dove Haller. Jonas and Rosen was okay. The rest, I don't know. Dove Haller, I think, is a uh, Israel Besser. Uh, he's a very good writer. I'd like to meet Israel Besser one day. He seems like an interesting person. All right. <clears throat> Stigmara says, we're going to try to decide what the halakh is about being bull on the tchila on Shabbos. The Bay Rav, the top of Avon an Aleph, the first line, the Bay Rav Amri, Rav Shari, Vishmul Asar, and Rav's Academy, Rav's Yeshiva. They said, Rav, the Rosh Yeshiva, he said, it's Mutter, and Shmuel, Asar, and Shmuel, Asar, Shmuel, not Nari Yeshiva, Asar. But Naharda, Naharda was the place where Shmuel was, the, the, he was the rabbi over there. I mean, he was a doctor, I don't know, he's a rabbi. I'm a Rav, Asar, Vishmul Shari, Rav, <coughs> Asar, Shmuel Shari, I'm a Rav Nachmar Yisrael, Vishimanaya. If you want to figure out where Rav was Mekel, right, where Rav was Machmer, in his yeshiva, right, in his yeshiva, they said Rav is Mekel, right, <clears throat> and in Aharda, which is Shmuel's place, they said Shmuel's Mekel, right, now they say it's the opposite, right, no, Kula, no, 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 our Rav is Machmer, he's the Machmer, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. and our yeshiva, I know, we have all the home runs, joking, all right, no, this is true also, this is true, but Pretty much. Uh, Rav Shari, the Gemara says, is there an opinion that Rav could actually matter it? Rav Simi Bar Chizkiah, Mishmei the Rav, Haim was Sukhraya the Nizayis, also the Duke Biyamatava. If you have a barrel of a beer, right? A keg of beer, and you want to, so you got a hole in it, and you want to stuff it with a handkerchief, um, you're not allowed to stuff the handkerchief in there to stop up the hole. Why? Because inevitably beer is going to get absorbed in the handkerchief and come squeezed out. And when you squeeze something out on Yom Tov or Shabbos, that's a malach of schita, of dash, schita. Uh, some say malabin, it's malach of tosos. What's the malach over here? Maybe you're making it white. You're cleansing it, kibbutz, maybe, uh, or dash, you're squeezing it out. Whatever it is, there's <clears throat> some sort of malach over here, and it's a psik reshe. Uh, it's, a, it's sure going to happen. But, so similarly over here, it should be a psik reshe, right? We're, we had two stadim yesterday, not yesterday, I mean, about today's shear. I'm giving I'm giving that vav a day early. Uh, tomorrow I have I'm booked in the morning with my wife for a, a breakfast date, so I'm not available tomorrow morning. So I'm doing it a day ahead. So here it's today that vav. So on daf hey from yesterday. If you're listening to this tomorrow, then it was yesterday's daf. Listening today, so it was today's daf also. We did both. 
um, the, the Gemara had, had different ways of figuring out whether it's mutter or asr, is dam kabura mikhbar, is it considered making kabura or dam mifkar pakir, did you make a pesach? There's two ways of saying that there's malach da rice, either a kabura, you're making a kabura, you're letting out blood, you're making a kabura like a bris mila or something that will be kabura, uh, bris mila is mutter upon the eighth day, but you make another cut on, on a person, you know, that would be a, a kabura. Or it's a pesach, you're making a pesach, which would be either also mishum bone or mesach and magavapatish. These are malachas on Shabbos and Yom Tov. So, um, <clears throat> technically, um, it should be the same thing over here. It's psik reisha, right? If you hold dam chaburi mechbar, so you're for sure making a chabura. If you hold, you're making a pesach. You're for sure making a pesach. The Gemara says about who? Afilu Rishon Moda Abay Rabbi Tamri Tovay. What Rishon psik reisha of Yom Tov? The Gemara is makalik. The Gemara says no. There, when it comes to stopping up the keg of beer, so there, it's for sure that it's going to be squeezed out some of the beer. Here, it's not for sure. We're going to see on Vav and Bez, it's not for sure. So it's not for sure that you, the malacha is going to be done over here. So the Gemara further protests. Rav says the malachas are Rav Yehuda. Rav says the malachas are Yehuda. Rav Yehuda holds Davar Shem Eskab, and even if it's sure not going to happen, Davar Shem Eskab, not Machabin for it. It's still also Rav Chana Barami Amar. Shmuel halacha k'rabi Shimon. He says Shmuel said halacha k'rabi Shimon. We davar Shimon is kavin. Rav Chia bar Avin masti la below gabi. Rav Chia bar Avin said it without giving the names of who said it. Rav bar halacha k'rabi Yehuda. Rav Shmuel bar halacha k'rabi Shimon. So Rav, how could he matter? You want to say it's not a psik reisha? Who cares? Davar Shimon is kavin. So he holds like k'rabi Yehuda. It's usher. The olam Rav k'rabi Yehuda severely. The Gemara says really Rav does hold like k'rabi Yehuda. The hachlish dam or dam mifkad pocket. According to the way of understanding it. That the hymen and the blood over there is mifkat pak. It's not immediately going to come out. It's not directly in the skin, right, of the hymen. So therefore, it's just in the vaginal walls. So therefore, mekakal it's all pesach. Even though it's darvish and miskavit, right. So the only malacha could be making a pesach, which would be bone or maka or patish. It's makalkel, even though it's darvish and miskavit, it's going to happen. But it's makalkel and rebuto is makal when it's makalkel is destroying. Lachlish damar dam chaburi mikbar. If you want to say that the blood actually is drawn, makaka mechabura, or similarly holds like Rabbi Yehuda, that's makaka, it's, it's called a destruction, not a positive act. Who mas it? Mechabura, who mas it? Rav Chista, Rav Chista asked the following question. This is going to be on Shmuel. Tinoke shalai giyaz man aliros. A young girl, she's below the age of 12, so therefore her time for menstruating hasn't come yet. Until she's 12, we don't assume she's going to menstruate. Benise, she gets married before she's 12. So you give her... Four nights, we and four four nights, whenever they're boal, the new husband and new wife, we assume the blood is considered dam besulim. It's not considered blood dam nida. We have to always be suffering. Maybe it's dam nida. Dam besulim is, is called dam tohar. It's, it's it's tohar blood. It doesn't have any afkamina nowadays. Now you still have to go to the mikvah for dam besulim. But there's halachas in terms of making a woman tummy and things like that. She doesn't come tummy through Dam Basulim. Uh, they say if she's never seen blood, menstrual blood before, until the wound is healed, the, the, from the hymen is healed, so we assume as many a uh, month, two months, we assume the blood is Dam Basulim and not Dam Nida. However, if she got married after she started menstruating, when he says, or she had, she gives 12 when normally a woman would start menstruating when this is, and she got married. But Shaman knows not Laila Risha. You only give her the first night to assume it's Dam Basulim. You told it and say it's definitely Dam Basulim. But still, Omri on Moshe Shabbos. You give her Arba Lelos. Till Moshe Shabbos four nights because generally you got married on on Wednesday. So you have Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night, Moshe Shabbos four nights. So that's Basil she's the top of Oma Bez. My love, the Elo Ball, Mati Boyle. When Basil gave her four nights, it doesn't mean that even if they didn't have Bia, for some reason they didn't have Bia on Wednesday night, Thursday night, right? They can have Bia already on all the nights, on Moti Shabbos and Friday night. So you see, you can have Bia even on Friday night. So I said, Philo Bishabbos. Mati Ball, Philo Bishabbos. You can even have Bia on Shabbos. I'm a Rav Lo Labar Mishabbos. It means four nights. Moti, until Moti Shabbos, but not including, yeah, it just means four nights until Moti Shabbos, but not including Shabbos. I'm like, Abai, you had Moti Shabbos, Arba Lelos, because he says it's a double language. Ad Moti Shabbos, Arba Lelos. You should just say Ad Moti Shabbos. We know that three nights excluding Shabbos, meaning four nights excluding Shabbos. Why do you say it twice? Alma Rav Shabal. Must be talking about Beis Hill Hall's when they had Bia. Ik Shabal, so they had, that's why they had Bia on the first night. So you could do Bia. On future nights, because there's no problem making chabura over here, because you already broke the hymen. We assume when the first time you were with her, so therefore it's mutter. So the, uh, the Gemara says, 
Ikshabal, my Kamashmon. If they already had Bia, what's the Heter? What's the reason? Of course, it's Mutter to be Bol on Shabbos. You already broke the Haimim, we assume. Kamashmon, the Shar and Mibol, the Shabbos, the Shmuel, the Amr Shmuel, appears with Chuka Mutli, kind of by the Shabbos, the Avu Shemash, or Throros. Even though we assumed the Haimim was broken the first time, we don't assume it was fully broken. There are still parts of it that weren't broken. So there's a Pesach over here. Shmuel says that even though you go ahead, and you enlarge the opening, you make it bigger, since you could technically get through it without doing so, therefore it's not considered to be making a Pesach. If you hold the Isser of being Boal, Betchil and Shabbos, making a Pesach, here it would be Mutter, because you already had a Pesach, you're just making it a larger Pesach, that's not called Boner or Makib Patish on Shabbos. That's the Kiddush of the Bryson. Ava Bisha Meshur Tzoros. Masi Rav Yosei, Rav Yosei has the following question, Chasem Potter Mekriyash Malayu Darisha on Motei Shabbos. A Chasem... Slicha Efshar, Liyota, Slicha, Shaliyota, Nimosar Shir, Toda. Chasan Pater Mekriyashma, Laila Arisha, and Motei Shabbos. Chasan is exempt from saying Kriyashma the first night. Usually it means Wednesday night when they got married on Motei Shabbos. Right? Imlo Asa Maisef. He didn't have Bia yet, right? We know the, the Gemara in Sukkah says that a person who's marrying a Psula, so he's worried, he's torrid doing the mitzvah. He knows he has to do Bia Rishon or the Bia Mitzvah on the first night. He wants to make sure, every chassan wants to make sure that he breaks the hymen, because if you don't break the hymen, then you have to try another time to break the hymen. You want to break the hymen, so you can get on with life. So he's nervous he's going to be able to break the hymen or not, so therefore he's tarud, he's osik a mitzvah, he's osik a mitzvah, patram in a mitzvah. Therefore he's exempt from the mitzvah of saying kriyachma on the first night. Motei Shabbos in Lhasa Maisa, and that extends all the way to Motei Shabbos, so they got married four nights. If he hasn't had bia yet, my love the tari the boil me boiled, doesn't mean that he wants it, he is supposed to do bia. He hasn't had beer yet, and we see what that he can do it all those nights, even on Friday night. I'm like, Abai, lo, the tarid lo boil. No, he's tar. Abai says, no, maybe he's tar, that he he didn't do beer yet, right? And Friday night he's potter because he's upset that he, he's potter from Krishna. He's upset that he on Friday night he can't do beer because they're not allowed to do beer Rishona on on Friday night. I'm like, Rav, I'm assuming tear the potter because he's worried that he didn't do a mitzvah. He can't do a mitzvah. He's gonna be potter. Elamata tava just being sad. Potter from Krishna. Elamata tava svinasavayam. Meaning, if he allowed to do bia, so also commits a potter around mitzvah. But if he's not doing, he's just sad. So you're not shouldn't be potter for the mitzvah of kriyasha. Shouldn't tear the potter. El ma'ata tavas to nasa v'yam achinami the potter. If you're a rich guy and you have a big yacht, right? You're like Roman Abramovich. <laughs> you have like maybe the biggest yacht in the world, and it it, it, it you know either they captured it, they seized it now because it, a Russian oligarch or either or it drowned in the it drowned. Like Mara says, it drowned in the. In the sea, it's gone. You lost a lot of money. Achami the potter because of, you lose a lot of money. Your potter from doing mitzvahs. Maybe they'll say, yeah, you lose a big fortune. You're like Elon Musk, and you lose fifty-two billion dollars because you tried to buy Twitter, and your Tesla stock went down. You lost a lot of money. You should be you should potter in mitzvahs. Elon Musk was Jewish. He's from South Africa, from Johannesburg, not from Johannesburg. I don't think he's from South Africa. She potter him not with him. Achami, but I'm a rabbi Abba bar Zabda. I'm a rabbi. All the chayev b'chol mitzvahs on Morris with Torah. If you're a mourner. Right, you're a sad person, right? <clears throat> you're chayav in all the mitzvahs of Torah. That's an example of the mitzvahs. Chutzman, I tefillin Hashem ben Beher, except for tefillin you don't wear as an avel on the first day of avelos, which is more severe because it says Beher. Beher is supposed to be an embellishment. It's supposed to adorn you. It's supposed to make you glorify you. When you're in a state of mourning, you can't be glorified. El Amarava generally mitzvahs your chayav. El Amarava t'nahi. Rava says. Whether you can have Bia Rishona on the first night, if it's Shabbos, the Bia Rishona on Friday night is actually Melchus Tanayim. The Tana Chada, Yim Loa Sa Maisa Barishon Potter. One, Bryson says, if you didn't do the Maisa on the first night, your Potter from St. Kriyashma on Friday night, Apishani, sorry, if you didn't do it on the first night, your Potter from Kriyashma even on the second night, Apishani, Potter Apishlishi. Shlishi is normally the third night, Friday night, if you get married on Wednesday. Tani Ida, Rishon, Vishani Potter, a different Bryson says, the first two nights, your Potter, Shlishi Chayim. Rabbi says that second b'risa is the shlishi yichayev, so that you can't do bia rishon on Shabbos. The first b'risa is you can, so that you could do bia rishon on Shabbos. Abai, Abai, who says that you're a potter, even if you're not allowed to do bia hasam nami with tirda pliki. There also, they're just arguing about. Rabbi says everyone agrees you're allowed to do bia rishon on the first night, according to Abai. The reason the second b'risa says you're not potter from Kriyashma is that, like we said, like Rabbi said, maybe just being sad that you can't do a mitzvah doesn't potter you from Kriyashma. Kahani tanai, kahani tanai. These machlogas tanaim, whether you can have beer or shonah, is like the following tanaim. The sanya konis of sul lo yivol betchila b'shabbos. You shouldn't have the beer or shonah on Shabbos. Come on, come on, tirim. Come on, allow you to do it. 
Man Chacham, who's the Chacham? Amar Rabba, Reb Shimon is Reb Shimon is the Amar Dovrach means Kavim Mutter, like we said before. Um, according to Reb Shimon, making Chabur is not like a Psik Reisha. We'll explain why in a second. It's Dovrach means Kavim Mutter. I'm like Abaye, how more Reb Shimon Psik Reisha? Like Amos, like Mara challenges that maybe if you hold Chaburim Michbar, the Dams Chaburim Michbar, you're making a wound, so it's a Psik Reisha. Even if you're not intending to do it, you're doing it. You're not doing it for the Dam. You're doing it Hanas uh, Atzmo. So still. Uh, it's it's a it's a psych ratio. It's gonna happen. You're gonna make you're gonna draw blood in most cases. I think psych ratio is ninety five percent of the time. It's gonna happen. That's why we assume psych ratio. I'm gonna lo kalal above loyim shein bekiin baataya el yesh bekiin baataya. He says, no, don't think the halacha is like certain Babylonians who are not experts in hataya. There are people that are experts in hataya. What does hataya mean? So according to Rashi, he says hataya means is that when you go in uh, to the to the vagina and try to Try to do the beer Rishona, you know how to do it in a certain way to do it at an angle where you won't draw blood by breaking the hymen. You can do beer Rishona without breaking the hymen. Therefore, it's mutter on Shabbos. I want. I don't think this is the pshat. I think the pshat is hataya means um, if you if you, if you're together with a virgin the first time and she's not supported, she doesn't arch her, you know, her, you know, her her uh, her area. She has to put a pillow underneath. To provide a good angle for the man to go in to break it, she has to be sort of like an upward position, facing upward. Uh, if she's just, if she's just, you know, lying down, uh, it's not good. She has to be an expert in, you know, putting her genitals uh, and her, you know, her tuchus has to be up. She puts a pillow underneath it to arch her, to arch her back. So therefore, the penetration is easier, and it'll and it'll break the hymen like that. Uh, that's what the Gemara is saying over here. The Gemara is saying. Ish b'ki and b'hataya, people uh, are baki b'hataya. So, since they're baki b'hataya, so therefore, uh, when they when they rupture the hymen, uh, it's gonna, it's more likely that uh, the blood will um, not be a chabura. This is the chiddush I'm saying. I'll further elaborate this on Yom Ben Sion. Um, there won't be. It'll be dam if got pocket. Meaning if the woman is just laying down normally, and you go in the missionary position like that. So, which is how most people do it. So, um, in that case, um, in that case, the dam is is going to be on the surface, kaburi mikhbar. But if you do it at she picks herself up and she leans, she puts a pillow underneath herself. that will be an angle, so the blood will be, you know. You know, the blood will be withdrawn inside. It'll be more a situation of dam if got pocket, and there's more room to be makel if dam is mifkat pocket. So, said, in came Torah Lama. Right? If most people, if people know how to do hataya, so then why is he t- why is he so worried about breaking the hymen? Because even though it'll be dam if got pocket, it's much easier to break the hymen. People shouldn't be worried you're going to break the hymen. It's easier to break the hymen if you have a pillow. But you know, you know, it's. The reason you're popular is because some people don't know about this. Some people don't know about this. And therefore, we're going to see, I'm going to explain to you Ben Sion, because it's a mute, a mute of people. So therefore, there's a Torah in a mitzvah. Osek mitzvah, Patrim in a mitzvah. You're Patrim in a mitzvah. If you do a mitzvah, when you're Osek mitzvah, Patrim in a mitzvah, I suggest that you're actually over in Baltosif. You're Machavin for the mitzvah when you're Patr. Because of this mute, where goes there, even though there's a robe, where goes there for Chayshin and Lemiyuta, we are Chayshin Lemiyuta, the Remeyer Shita, by 80%, or 90%, not 95%. Chayshin Lemiyuta, it's by Xeros, uh, we pass on the Grameyer by Xeros of, and he holds that Chayshin the Muta is a Xero de Rabbana. We talked about the end of, you were with me at the end of Yavamos, we talked extensively about this. So therefore, <clears throat> we're Chosher Bal Tosef. So therefore, that's why he's Potter on the first night, because some people are not Baki. So the Gemara says, Yom, we're Baki, Mutter, Shayna Baki, Asa. No, we should say, if you're a Baki, if you're a Baki, then it's Mutter to do it on Shabbos. Shayna Baki, you should be Asa, because you're going to make a Kabura. So the Gemara says, Rov Bikini. And most people, we don't know, but most people, we don't. We just go based on rope. We can't adjudicate every case unless he tells us. If we don't know any better, we don't have to give them advice. If they know, they know. Most people, 80% of people, rove, rove with the Lisa come on here. There's a rove in the Olam. There's not a rove with the Isakon. Rove with the Lisa come on, which is 80% valid. I talked about end of Yivamos. So therefore, 80% of the time is a rove. We can rely on rove over there. And therefore, it's considered a psikresha. It's not considered a psikresha. It's Star Shaman's Kabin. I'm like Abrava, Barav Khan, and Abaye. Elamata, Shishbinin Lama, Mapa Lama. We're going to see later on in the Masechta that. The first night, in order to make sure no one does any trying to tricks over here, uh, they appoint two people to make the beds. So Shishbinin set up the room that they're going to be have the Bia Rishonet. 
And they also, there's a mappa, right? We're supposed to have chasen and kali after the birishon. They're supposed to wipe themselves with a towel, right? <clears throat> the reason, and we, we take that towel from them, the reason is she shouldn't, no one should trick each other, right? Because if we let the chasen and kali make the bed, maybe the kali is going to put a bed or she's going to put some blood, a blood, a blood stained sheet. And she's going to claim, no, there was blood, even though she's not a psula. Or similarly, the mappa, right? The towel, if we don't take the towel from them, Right, he can claim that there's no blood, but now the mapa shows there's blood, so she he can't tr- trick her, cheat her. I'm like, how's the year of Yova? So the Gemara says, if you hold, people can do uh, this. This are not, are not bucky b'hataya. Sometimes they're not going to rupture the hymen. So the Gemara says, Hasam shema year of Yavi. No, there we do it. We do these these things to make sure that if there is blood, you know, or if there's no blood, to ensure as much as we possibly can do to make sure no one cheats each other. Uh, but rogue people are bakin bata, yeah, and they will penetrate the hymen, there will be blood, so we don't have to worry about anything. Mesa Rabbi Ami, Rami has the following question, Amap is more so, how can we mutter? How can we mutter to be a Rishon on a Shabbos? Amap is more so of a Shabbos. Im lasu slepecha, yim lasu min alecha, putter, if he's doing it, He's making a hole, you pop a pimple on Shabbos. You pop a, you know, you have a pimple, you want to pop a pimple on Shabbos, so there's a lot of acne. If you're doing it to give air to inside, you just want to give a lot of air to it. Most people don't do it for this reason. They want to, they want to, we'll see. You just want to take out the lecha, the pus. You want to take the pus out. So then it's darshim is kam. But if you want to make a pet, you want to make it a nice hole so air gets in and it heals it naturally, then that's your kavana. Then it's considered, um, it's a dabar hamachavin. You're doing a machavin for a pesach, bona or maka apatish. The same thing as when it comes to making a hole in the hymen. The Gemara says, hasam. The Gemara says there, the reason that's mutter over there is it's pakid va'akir. The Gemara is really asking a question how can we say that it's asr, right? We say map is more so that if you do it lahotzi lecha and it's mutter. So the Gemara says no because there it's not considered, the pas is not considered. Asam pakid va'akir. It's actually not absorbed in the in the skin, right? In order to make a chabura, you have to have blood that's absorbed in the skin, and you're removing it. The pus is on top of the skin. The pus is on top of the skin. So therefore, if you're doing it just to take out the pus, you're not doing anything. Hacha pakid va'akir. When it comes to the blood, if you hold dam chaburi mechbar that is close to the surface, it's not going to take a while to come out. So therefore, you're actually making a chabura. That's a chabura, and therefore. It would be usher if you're machavin, or according to Yehuda, a darshan miskavin would be usher uh, if you hold dam chaburi michbar. Technically, we hold. I think the halacha is that you're allowed to be a rishon on Shabbos. Uh, we'll see. Actually, uh, the Gemara says this on the, in the middle of Zion and Aleph, mutter livol b'tchil b'Shabbos, because we hold like Rosh Hashim and darshan miskavin is mutter. So even if you hold dam chaburi michbar, because rov bekin b'ataya, so therefore it's not going to be it's not going to be chaburi michbar. It's going to be pocket. If got pocket and therefore it's gonna be mutter, that's my explanation. I'll explain more in the event. See you coming up right now.